Hi, I'm Victoria Lennox here at the CSI Toronto event, exploring social innovation with CSI Executive Director Tanya Sermon. Tanya, can you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about CSI? Sure. Uh, Tanya Sermon, I'm the CEO of uh, the Centre for Social Innovation. And CSI is a not-for-profit social enterprise that provides shared space and services and acts as a community centre and an incubator for world-changing ideas. So we work with over 350 social mission organizations, both on the non-profit and the social venture for-profit side, to help them to uh, coordinate, to collaborate, to exchange ideas, and ultimately working as a form of triage to get those new enterprises up off the ground so that ultimately we can make the world a better place using market transformation as our goal. That's fantastic and we're here in the CSI space here and I'm wondering how many incub in incubator uh, clients do you have here? So uh, in this building alone, we have about 150 entrepreneurs or entrepreneurial organizations that are uh, just getting started. So there, and some of them are a little older, a little more, more mature. Some of them will always be small, uh, and some of them are just growing like wildfire. And that's the uh, that's the kind of vibrancy and energy that CSI has to offer. Where did this all come from? How were you inspired to take this board to push with your leadership to grow it to where it is today? Well, at a, at a personal level, there were, there were five of us that created CSI together. Uh, there was, um, it's a, a long, long history going back eight years, but ultimately, I as, as an individual have really struggled with how do I make the world a better place and still um, engage in market solutions? And I think one of the challenges for me has been this, uh, you know, with my capitalist friends, I'm a communist. With my communist friends, I'm a capitalist pig. And, you know, where do I fit? And so this is the ultimate marrying of market transformation or, or, um, or uh, market forces and enterprise uh, at the same time as working to make the world a better place. And I think that's the solution. If we're going to build a future for the 21st century, if we're going to move our country forward and position it as a leader globally, we have to start looking at the verticals that are growing in our world. And we believe that social entrepreneurship and social ventures are absolutely the thing that's going to position Canada not only to solve those so many challenges and programs that we've got here in this country, but also will position us to be a global leader, uh, building an economy that will save us and, and guide us for the future. I am a true believer for sure, Tanya. Tonight we're talking about social innovation. We're talking about solutions to drive forward social innovation and you recommended a very bold solution. Maybe you can tell Canada what your solution is to drive forward social innovation. Sure. I got my very first job working in the environmental sector with a program that the government had funded called the Environmental Youth Corps Program. And it provided me with I think it was $8 an hour to be able to get my very first job in this sector. And I became an employee with uh, the Backyard Acid Rain Kit Program, where we measured acid levels uh, and in CSO2 levels in classrooms across the country, in both the U.S. and Canada. What was interesting is that this program was an employment program to support youth being employed in the 80s and 90s, but what was core about this is it was a, a tool that actually created an entire sector. The environmental movement in effect grew up out of this. I got skills training, leadership development, budget, cash flow. It became this incredible program to be able to lay the foundation for our young leaders to be able to learn what they want to do to be a part of the solution. So what I'm proposing is that what if Canada wants to take a leadership role, if we're looking to our government to work with us and be a partner in building an economy economy for the future, that I'm suggesting that we actually create a social venture core or a social enterprise core that will provide employment solutions to get a young, talented folks who want to be a part of the solution into the organizations that need them the most, the not-for-profits, the charities, and also independent entrepreneurship as well, to be able to actually grow this new vertical, invest in our future, and position us as a global leader.